What's up, brothers? Hulkamania here, asking all of you to take those 22-inch pythons and reach out and hit the subscribe button today. Because what you're gonna do when Adam and Tally World was riled on you, brothers? What's up, everybody, and welcome back to Adam and Tally World. Thank you for joining me today. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and do all that fun, happy stuff. Got a huge video today. This is a belt review video of the Cruiserweight Championship of the World. Ooh, look at this bad boy right here. All right, as you see, it's got a purple strap. Uh, we're going to discuss this bad boy. But first, um, SummerSlam's coming up. Got a predictions video coming up in the next day or so. So if you're watching this, be on the lookout for that. Subscribe, get the notifications. Um, like I said, I do predictions. You do your predictions. Whoever, like I said, it doesn't matter if one person does it or 50,000 people do it. Whoever gets the... The highest number of them correct gets a shout out on the pay per views results video. So, SummerSlam, you do predictions for SummerSlam and you win, you get a shout out on the SummerSlam results video. If you do it at WrestleMania, you get a shout out of the WrestleMania results video. So, depending on whenever you're watching this, whatever pay per view is coming up, just try your luck and I'll give you a shout out if you win. Let's look at this beautiful belt, shall we? Mwah! Okay, so we're going to start off with the main plate, of course, because that is with the main focus. See, it's got all these nice little holes in there, all the detail to it. It's got the gems along the side. It says Cruiserweight, and it says Champion right there. Got the WWE logo. It's got the orange swoosh right here, which is kind of funny. Um, you got the side plates. These are interchangeable if you get the replica. I don't think they have a commemorative one yet, but if they do, I'm pretty sure those side plates will not be interchangeable. And um, then you got the side of the belt. You got the snap locks. You got some detail right here in the middle. Pretty cool. It's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight snap locks on the left side. Go over, got the mirrored side of the side plate. Um, then you got the other snap locks on this side. I'm pretty sure there's gonna be eight. Yep, two, four, six, eight, boom. You got the metal tip, pretty cool. Once again, you got the detail right along here. Something else that's really cool about this belt that you don't get on all the belts is it's got a really nice curve to it. You can kind of see, I did not add that curve to it. It came like that, which is really nice because if you've ever seen the belts when they're flat, you put them on, it looks just looks silly, but with that curve, it goes wraps around your waist, looks a lot nicer. Let's look at the back, and it is black on the back side. You see the screws right there. As you can see, these are the screws that are on the back side of the side plate, so this is where you could take the side plate off with a flathead screwdriver, just like the World Heavyweight title, or the Universal title, or the SmackDown, or Raw Women's Championships. So it goes black all the way down. You got the WWE official, WWE shop, authentic replica. And that is it. Oh, uh, this one has a really nice, the fake leather on it. It's really nice because it's really flexible. Sometimes you get it and it's stiff. See how flexible that is. It's not as good as real leather, but... WWE Shop is getting a lot better with making their leather straps. I gotta hand it to them. So sometimes they're really stiff. It's like cardboard and plastic, but they're getting a lot better. My World Heavyweight title is better. The Universal title is better. And just another close-up of the front main panel. So it's got the purple along here. Purple, 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 purple. Same on the other side. And you got some on the bottom. Let's get a wide shot, shall we? That is the Cruiserweight Championship. So there you go. That is an up-close look at this, the Cruiserweight Championship, formerly known as the Neville Level, and now known as ah, 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 Akira Tozawa's belt. Um, that's it. Like I said, don't forget to do your predictions for SummerSlam or whatever pay-per-view is coming up because shout-outs go to that winner. You don't get this belt, unfortunately. You can get that at WWE Shop, where I got mine, for 25% off. Use my noggin. Um, like I said, that is it. Hope you enjoyed the video. I hope it helped you figure out if you want to purchase this belt or not. Hopefully it persuaded you because I highly appreciate this belt and I think it's a freaking awesome belt. Just like all my other ones. Like I said, if you want to check out any of these other belts, I got video reviews for all these belts so you can figure out, hey, I want to get that belt or eh, don't want to want to. So like I said, we'll go through real quick. World Heavyweight title, Universal title, US title, World Heavyweight title, AKA Big Gold, Intercontinental Championship, the old uh, smack, uh, the old tag team belt, whew, attitude belt, whew, raw tag team belt, scroll down. We have the Million Dollar Championship, the old NXT Championship, 
the Spinner Belt, which is signed by none other than CM Punk. We got the Undisputed Championship over here. We got the Winged Eagle over here and the big logo, the one at the rock, the great one, the jabroni beating, la 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 la, pie eating, trailblazing, Albert Raisin People's Champ, the rock introduced after he beat CM Punk, which I disagree with him doing completely, even though the rock is my favorite of all time. Anyway, off of the soapbox, like I said, this is the cruiserweight title, I'm the cruiserweight champion, and I'm saying peace.